or how they died. 48 hours after police launched a massive search for an armed man in southeast Albuquerque, officers still have not found him. APD swarmed the area around Eubank and Innovation Monday afternoon. In addition to a lot of houses, that area is also home to Sandia Labs, Manzano Mesa Elementary School, a daycare, and MCOR, where a shooting left three people dead in 2010. Dispatchers got a rush of 911 calls from panicked employees at MCOR who said someone was firing shots outside the building. MCOR. Corporation. There is a shooter. How many employees are in there with you? One, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven. Okay. Eight. Wait, I don't lock know. that door? We're, the door is locked. Manzano Mesa and MCOR went into lockdown. Police are not sure whether any shots were actually fired or if an armed man caught on surveillance camera actually committed a crime, but APD wants to talk to him anyway. It was a very scary day for everyone in that neighborhood, workers, residents, school kids, and their parents. But Action 7 News reporter Kirsten Swanson spoke to one mom who says police and the school did everything right. I had no worry that I was going to bring my two babies home that night. Jennifer Gygos is somewhere in this crowd. Hundreds of parents lined up outside Manzano Mesa Elementary School Monday night. The school went into a lockdown after police received reports of an armed gunman firing near the school. APS officials say they got the call from police and followed procedure. Gygos got her hands on her son and daughter around 8 p.m. When we got out of the school, my kids were just in complete awe because there were so many cops around. After the lockdown, parents posted to the Manzano Mesa Elementary School community page saying things like, we want to express how grateful we are to all of the teachers. Thank you to the entire staff of MMES for everything you did today. We got word right away what was going on. Teachers kept us in contact. Geigo says it wasn't just the teachers that did everything right. With APD calling the shots, you know, I'm really, I'm really satisfied. Her family lives near the school in the area police searched for hours. There was cops going in and out of our neighborhoods, you know, in, in cars. I saw a couple on foot. Geigo says APD's response left her feeling okay to walk home from Manzano Mesa with her kids. They were the barrier. Nobody was going to get by to get our kids. In Southeast Albuquerque, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Again, police still want to find the man spotted walking with a gun Monday afternoon. They say they don't consider him a suspect, they just want to talk to him. He is described as being in his 20s, dressed all in black, wearing a backpack, a hat, and carrying at least one gun. Three people now face